Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Today we're gonna go over Hello Bonsai, which is a massive freelancing suite for all of your freelancer needs. So if you're new here and you've never seen any of my videos, I like to do design and freelancing tips that may help you become the best designer you can possibly become. Seeing as this is gonna be sort of an ultimate guide for Hello Bonsai, it's probably gonna be a pretty long video, so make sure that you check out the description or just the chapters that I'll leave down below so you can skip around and make sure that you get what you want from this video. So if you landed on this video, it's probably because you looked up Hello Bonsai or what is Hello Bonsai or something something along the lines of that and it brought you to my video and so if you want this short and simple answer Hello Bonsai is a freelancing suite which gives you contracts, proposals, time tracking and just honestly a lot more that you can use every day for your clients and for your design purposes. However, if you already knew what Bonsai was and you just want a really in-depth review and you want to know everything about it, then keep watching until the end because I'm going to review everything there is to know about this. And in this review, I'm going to have features that are available for Workflow and Workflow Plus thanks to Bonsai, which kindly let me use their Pro Pro, Pro version, which is a Workflow Plus, so I can check it out and make this review. So yeah, thank you Bonsai for that. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the video and check out what Bonsai actually has to offer. So to make this video a bit easier to grasp, I'm gonna break it down into different chapters so that you can just click around the video and I'll break it down like this. What is Hello Bonsai? Why do you need Hello Bonsai? I'm also gonna break down the features and the benefits of Hello Bonsai. I'm also gonna talk about Hello Bonsai's proposal and how it helps you actually get clients. I'm gonna talk about Hello Bonsai's contracts and how you can actually sign them with your client. And then I'm gonna go over Hello Bonsai's dashboard for clients, how they help you with invoices. And also I'm gonna go over their pricing structure and how much the service actually costs. So yeah, that's a lot of things, but make sure that you stick until the end to learn everything there is about Bonsai. So first off, what is Hello Bonsai? Well, Hello Bonsai is a freelance management app. What that means is that they help you with every aspect of your freelancing business. Essentially, they add a lot of services into one package, which can be really beneficial sometimes. It offers contracts, proposals, invoices, time tracking, and it can also help you with leads and actually getting clients. Essentially, it's an all-in-one that bundles up everything you need as a freelancer and helps you out in every way possible. And essentially why that's a good thing is because today in the world that we live in, there's so many apps and there's so many services that you can use as a freelancer or as a designer that having one single thing that you can just use every time and have it be your main hub of finances and invoices and contracts, proposals, all of that, have it be in one place. For me, that's golden and it saves me a lot of time. So I personally use Hello Bonsai all the time for all my freelancing work and all my client work and all of that. And I've done a lot of videos on them already, so I'll make sure to link them out as we go through this video. And that might help you because I go more into depth on how to create a proposal, how to create a contract, invoices, all of that. I've already covered all of this. And so this video should just be more of an overview of the entire app as a Whole. If it's one thing that we creative people like to actually do, it's the design itself. I got into freelancing personally because of the remote work opportunities and the freedom that actually can come with freelancing. However, I'm sure we all know that freelancing isn't just doing the work and it actually has a lot of steps. While most of the time it is a lot of work and takes up all of your time probably, it can be broken down into eight simple steps. And Hello Bonsai helps you with all of those eight steps. Looking at it from this point of view, designing is actually only a small chunk of what you actually do as a freelancer. So relying on one single app that can actually help you and manage all the work that you need to do is truly, truly, truly a golden opportunity as a freelancer and as a designer. It saves me so much time when I don't have to worry about any other app. I don't have to log into Trello or Asana or or any other app, I can just really use Bonsai for all of my things. And also before I even got started with Hello Bonsai, I'm sure you already also did this, but I was looking up on YouTube and on Google design contracts or design invoices or proposals or something like that. And I even downloaded some of the futures contracts and proposals just to help me out because I didn't know what I was doing essentially. Also because I'm not a lawyer and I'm not an expert in that field. So having something like Bonsai take care of that for me, again, as I said many times already, is just purely golden for me. So let's not waste any more time and get into the first part of Hello Bonsai and the features that they have with the first part of the freelancer cycle. So yeah, the first few parts of being a freelancer is finding a client and pitching to a client. If you didn't know, Hello Bonsai actually has a small portfolio page where you can actually let clients find you and review your work. Now, obviously if you have your own website like I do or your own channel for that like YouTube like I do, then maybe you won't use this as much, but if you don't and you're just kind of getting started with the freelancing game and you don't have the website yet, then this might be golden for you. It's a place where you can put all of your Behance work, your Dribbble, your Instagram, everything in one location so the client can find you and know how to access all of your work. So to access this, just follow the instructions on screen right now and I'll show you how to do that. Again, if you have your own website and you're a bit more advanced and you have your own funnels and everything like that, then this probably won't be much use to you. But Hello Bonsai lets you send out and receive forms for designers. I find that it's a bit more professional than just sending out a survey monkey or something like that. And you can also white label it if you do have the pro version. So one of the key features of Hello Bonsai that I personally really benefit from is the client CRM. 
A CRM is a way to manage all the relationships that you already have with your outgoing clients and with new ones potentially. And Hello Bonsai has a little dashboard for every single client that you have just in case they want to stay on top of the work that you're doing or you want to contact them. And as I said before, you can obviously use Asana or Trello or anything like that that you're currently used to. But for me, using Hello Bonsai for all my client services just helps me out a lot and keeps everything really close together. Also, if you repeat a client and you have them multiple times, then it shows every time they've signed a contract or any proposal that they've ever received or that you've sent out and also invoices, payments, timers, anything like that is all under your CRM for your clients. Again, keeping everything nice and tidy in a small little nice ball so that you can always be organized with your clients. Okay, so let's say that you already have a new client in the pipeline, for example, and everything is already set up in Bonsai. How do you essentially get a client from a lead to a paying client? Well, Bonsai definitely helps you with that with their proposal system and their invoicing system. Bonsai has six templates for you to use at any time, whether you're a copywriter, a designer, a web developer, a writer, and a few other ones. However, if none of these fit you, then you can also create your custom one, which is what I personally do because they don't really fit what I want. So yeah, just know that you can do that. So after you're done editing and creating and really dialing down what you want in that proposal, you can send it out in three different ways. One, you can send an automatic email directly from the app and it just zooms out to them. Two, you can download a PDF of that proposal and three, you can download it yourself and share it with a link. This is extremely, extremely important because not all client works the same way. Yes, they might all probably have emails that you can send them out to, but if they need it for organization purposes and they need a PDF, then this is just a really, really easy solution to that. You don't have to take screenshots or download it and use an online PDF converter or anything like that, that which is what I've done before. You can just download it as a PDF and straight send it to them. You can even send it to them by letter if you want by just printing out that email and I'm not sure if you will do that, but that is a possibility. When you send it, of course, you can write out your own personal message to them so that it doesn't feel that generic. So yeah, just know that you can actually do that. You should know that one of the best thing about these proposals is that they're also very interactive. You can set out different pricing structures for each proposal that you send out. I went over this in one of my earlier videos, which is Bonsai Proposals and or Hello Bonsai Proposals. And I set out a three tier pricing structure, which has helped me gain clients in the past. One of the beautiful things about this is that if a client chooses a certain proposal, then they automatically get an invoice created and sent out to them for that half payment or that full payment that you asked them to. So essentially there's no going back and forth and saying, yes, I approve of this, I do this, I want this. They pick and then they get sent straight to their email and invoice and then ask for a payment. However, if things don't go well, just right off the bat, they know that you can also just change the proposal really quickly, edit it, tweak some things, price here, price there, whatever, and send it straight out to them right away again. Then you have the contracts. I've also done a video on this and it was actually my first video ever made on this channel. So if you want to check that out and I'll leave that up there. I go into a lot more details about the contracts and everything about them and, and the different specificities of each contract type that they actually give you the different templates. And so make sure you check that out for more information. However, if you didn't know a contract is extremely important as a freelancer, it solidifies everything that the client and you have agreed to and make sure that nobody can run with anyone's money. Essentially, if there's any confusion, you can just go out and check out the contract and what it says. Now, as I've said before, if I didn't have Hello Bonsai, I would usually go on Google or YouTube and look up for a contract template or something like that, but that might be an extra fee they have to pay and it might not actually be vetted by real lawyers. So just make sure that you are careful with that. However, with Hello Bonsai, they take care of everything for you. As is with the proposals, there are very different contract templates for your needs that they give you. However, if those don't work for you, then you can kind of create your own contract and even make that a template for the next time that you have to use it. All they have to do is fill out the blanks. What Hello Bonsai does is it asks you a few questions, you fill it out and it creates a legally binding contract for you to sign and to send over to your client right away. These contracts are actually vetted by real lawyers and work internationally, but make sure that you do check up with a lawyer near you so you make sure that you are protected in case anything goes wrong. When you send out the contract to the client, they then sign an e-signature. Although they are just typing on their computer, this does mean that they are legally binded to that contract. However, if your client does prefer to just sign out the contract in person, you can download it as a PDF and have it printed out and sign it in person. Point is that you don't have to do any guesswork and try to figure out what's important in a contract or not. You just fill out a few questions, it makes a contract for you and you just send it to your client or print it out and have them sign it. That way you make sure that you are protected as a freelancer and also your client. So make sure that you just get that done and send it to them right away. Either way, the point is that you are protected no matter what and you can just send it to your client in a super fast and comfortable way. Okay, so now the most important part, how does Hello Bonsai actually help you with the work that you want to do, which is designing or creating, writing, developing, whatever you wanna do. 
how does it actually help you, the freelancer? One of the great things about Hello Bonsai is that you have a time tracker built into the app, which you can use on a desktop, you can download on your phone, so you have that, and you can also use it on the web. And again, another thing that you would have had to go out and download separately, you can now just download it directly on Hello Bonsai. So obviously, if it has anything to do with Hello Bonsai, I've done a video on it, so go and check that out. I go really into depth on timers with Hello Bonsai. So yeah, really, really good on Bonsai's part. You can just track your work as a freelancer and it's all directly in the app. From that, you can then transform it into an invoice. And also the great thing about it is that since they're all just connected, the invoices, the contracts, the proposals, the time tracking, everything's connected. You can just connect your time tracking to your invoices and directly send an invoice from those hours that you tracked. I've talked a little bit about the invoices with Hello Bonsai already and obviously I've made the video, so go check that out. But arguably money is one of the most important parts of being a freelancer. It's how we sustain ourselves, how we get paid, and how we move on to the next month. One of the absolutely amazing things about Bonsai is the ways that you can actually get paid from your invoices. If you're starting out small and you're just getting a few clients here and there, then you can connect it to your PayPal and have it be paid out there. However, what I've done and what I recommend you doing is setting up a really quick and easy Stripe account and have it be paid to your Stripe directly every time. Mostly that's just because I don't really trust PayPal with a lot of money at the same time due to historically them just freezing up people's accounts. You could also just set it up with your bank account. However, I don't know if that's very professional and you should have them separated, but that's just me. So one way Bonsai helps you get paid faster is that when they accept a proposal, it automatically creates an invoice and sends them a reminder to have a look at it. You can also send over invoice reminders. This is extremely important if a client has forgotten to pay you or is late on the payment or anything like that. All these features can also be checked out on their Mac, their iPhone, their iPad, and their Android apps. So do go check those out. With Bonsai, you can also also integrate it with Zapier. If you don't know what Zapier is, it's essentially an automation tool. For example, when a client signs a proposal, it automatically creates an invoice, which can then make your email automatically send them a thank you note or something along the lines of that. There really is a lot that you can do with Hello Bonsai and Zapier, but I'm not really going to get into that in this video. I might make one in the future. So you might be asking, this is all really, really great, but how much is this going to cost me? So as I've said in the beginning of the video, Bonsai kindly let me use their premium plan to make this video, which is really great if you want to use white labeling. If you want to use subcontracting for sub designers. So yeah, that might be really great if you're a small team or a small agency or something like that. Compared to other apps like and co, it is the cheaper version as Bonsai will only run you 19 for the basic version and 29 for the premium version. From my point of view, it is worth the money as you don't have to pay for any other services like you would for Asanya premium or any contracting apps or proposal apps or anything like that. However, if you do want a month free, then make sure that you use my link in the description. It will help me get a month free in return. So I do thank you for that. So to wrap the the entire video up, Hello Bonsai is just an amazing tool that I personally use all the time for my clients and for all my freelancing needs. So I would really, really recommend it and I would really appreciate it if you actually use my link. Let me know if you guys have ever used Hello Bonsai and what your experience has been because I am personally really interested to know what anybody else thinks about this. If you learned anything from this video, then please let me know down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content just like this. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.